Hi everybody, welcome back to the Brantford Kia Hyundai channel and today we're going to be talking about level one charging on our on our EV6 vehicle. Now, level one charging is we typically don't recommend it for your everyday use. Uh, typically, we actually recommend a level two charger, something like this, and this is what most people have in their homes as well. Now, when you're in a pinch, a level one charger can work, and what we're gonna be taking a look at today is how you can actually increase the charge time from your level one uh, to save you up to 10 to 20 hours on charge time. Now, how that works, is we're gonna open up the trunk here and your level one charger, it's gonna come in a box like this. I already have mine out and plugged into the vehicle. And here's what we're gonna do is obviously plug it in. You're gonna plug it into the wall as well. You'll wait for the vehicle to say charging. And now this vehicle, what you wanna do is on your charger is you're gonna firmly press down on the button and you're gonna see that mine is set to 12 amps here. Now this actually is not the standard. The default charging on it is actually gonna be six amps. It's flashing to eight there, that's just because I hit the button. So what you wanna do is in order to change it from this item here is like I said, you're gonna firmly press down and it reset for me just in the nick of time and you're gonna press the button. So six, eight, 10, 12, and then when it's flashing, you're just gonna hold down to set it. And then release. So now it's preset to 12. So the benefit of this is although the level one charger is not what you typically use, if you're in a pinch, say you're at a friend's house or you're at the cottage and you need some extra charge to get you home, uh, you could definitely set it up this way and this way it's gonna be set up even faster for you. Um, but with that being said, it's still take a look at your level two charger and use that for your primary charging. If you're looking for more tips and tricks with the Kia EV6 or even the Hyundai Ioniq 5, uh, make sure that you stay subscribed or you drop a, com a comment down below. Uh, that way we can address it in some of our future videos. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're looking at purchasing one of these vehicles or putting your name in, there will be a link in the description box below for you to reach out to one of our sales associates. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.